this is uh, Kyle Vlerzani here. Um, so last week uh, we did a video on Tarago brand uh, restoring Gucci boots and Thursday's boots. But today we're going to be using Tarago products and doing a mirror shine on these Shell Cordovan boots. Okay, and we have a guest today. Hey everybody, my name is Dale, otherwise known as Aerosurfer LV on YouTube and Instagram, and I am a boot collector and leather aficionado. So, here with my friend Sonny here today, and I'm going to learn how to do a mirror shine. I'm very excited. Do you know about Tarago brand? The only experience I have with Tarago is this stuff, the Tarago uh, Nano Protector. I use it on my suede. Whenever I get a new pair of suede boots, I spray it down twice. And it really does a good job waterproofing my suede. But other than that, no, I've never used anything from Tarago before. Okay, and let me ask, before I answer that question for you, uh, do you know where they're from? Tarago? Uh, I assume somewhere in Europe, but no. Okay. Uh, Tarago is made in Spain. Okay. And it's been around for eight years. And also, they are a sister company for Saphir. Saphir is one of the best. They're probably the most well-reputed uh, shoe care brand in the industry so that's good to know I didn't realize that they were related yeah it is cool all right Dale are you ready yes sir let's get okay. the party started all right you're gonna wrap the cloth okay. on your fingers like that oh ready you just like wrap it and then oh well you can do well, let's do this yeah I've never done this before Put it like that okay okay just cover it yeah. Okay. And then do it like this. Kind of wrap it. Okay. Uh, make sure it doesn't open up on the end. Oh, okay, can't open up. <laughs> yeah, I see you do this. I've never, I've never tried this before. So you just wrap it like pretty tight. Yeah, like when you're doing a cast or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it tight? Yeah, it's tight. All right, but you're not. You don't want to have this like line right there. Okay. Because that's gonna make the it's not going to um, come out smooth on your uh, shoes. Okay. So nothing, just flat, nothing. Just flat, yeah. okay. All right, how's that? First thing that we're going to do, Dale, we're going to use a leather bomb. Okay. Um, do you know what the leather bomb does? I assume it, it's a base conditioner for the leather. And do you know why I use this before the polish? Uh, I guess to condition the leather into into the layers all the way through and i actually use the leather bomb or leather conditioner uh, to give the leather a base where it actually opens up the pore okay. put the polish on and let it dry actually yeah. you have to let the polish this po uh, trago polish dry for five minutes the trago polish is water base but the water base polish it doesn't have any solvent or a silicon it's mostly like natural stuff so okay. they are really good for your leather so it's going to get in there it's going to condition all the way through nourishing cream and is this the stuff with the carnauba wax yes and okay. uh, beeswax too yes so we're gonna get started now all right so we're gonna apply the leather bomb cool all right all right not too much just a little bit little dab will do you yep and then we're gonna just massage it onto the leather Apply it. Oh, yeah, it's soaking in already. Many hands make light work. <laughs> yeah, we're just applying the leather bomb to the shell, Cordovan leather. Hey, Dale, can you explain the shell Cordovan leather to us? Yeah, shell Cordovan is the so it is a leather from the equine, from, from the horse's rear quarters, um, and it's actually a subcutaneous layer, and it's the most non-porous leather in the world. It's one of the most, uh, it's one of the most highly revered leathers in the world, and it it's uh, more expensive than your standard cowhide or calfskin. And it's very difficult to get it in certain colors. This color is actually a special color offered only by Grantstones. It's called Maduro Shell Cordovan. And uh, it's very rare. This is part of a pre-order on 
Grant Stone's website. But um, yeah, Shell Cordovan is a very special leather, and one of its key characteristics is its high shine, as well as you can see here on the vamp here, the rolls forming. It doesn't crease, it forms rolls. Standard leather creases, but the Shell Cordovan, I think of it more of as like a, uh, a muscle than a skin. It's, okay. it's actually a layer beneath the skin. It's not technically a muscle, but that's kind of how I think of it because it is such a high density material. You only get a, a piece about that big, two pieces about that big. So really from one horse, you can get one pair of shoes out of one horse. It's very rare, very expensive. One of the most highly sought after leathers in the world. It's got a great reputation. So I'm really excited to see how these shine up because when shell shines up, it looks brilliant. So we added the leather bomb to the shell coat and leather. We applied it. Um, next step, we'll be putting a Tarago cream polish onto the boot. Cool. Did you get the whole boot already? Yes, sir. Oh man, you're quick. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the vamp. <laughs> yeah, I think the shell was thirsty. I haven't <laughs> conditioned these. I've had these a little over a year, probably going on a year and a half. And this Maduro color is a Grant Stone proprietary. So it's, it's probably closest to cigar shell that you see a lot of Aldens and Vibergs made on. Aldens especially, but uh, it's not cigar. It's a little bit warmer of a color actually compared to a uh, cigar. Cigar is a little bit more, I don't know, a little darker I think. Grant Stone has some uh, connection to Aldens, right? Oh yeah, yeah, they do. So Wyatt Gilmore, who owns Grant Stone, his grandfather Floyd worked for Alden for over 60 years. And then I think his father Randy did as well. So they're a shoe family. Yeah, really nice people, really great people. One of my, definitely one of my favorite shoe brands. Yeah, they make it easy for, for guys like me to get my hands on some rare shells, so I'm always, All right. I'm always looking out for their Looks like we're, uh, pre orders. Good with the leather bomb now. Yes. Guys, we'll be applying a Tarago Neutral Cream Polish. All right. See, the, no, the thing I noticed about Tarago Shoe Cream Polish is that the longer that you put it on the leather and wait, let it dry, it uh -huh. actually works the best. Okay, so you let it soak in? Yes. Work its magic? We're not putting too much, we're just putting a little bit. You, as you can see, you, there's no leftover. Right. A so lot. they say less is better, right? Yes, for sure. And I know, like me personally, I'm always afraid to put stuff on my boots. And then you meet people like Wyatt of Grantstone, he's always like, no. Shine your shoes, <laughs> condition your shoes. All right guys, so we applied the cream polish onto the shell quarterman, and we're just gonna let it dry for a couple minutes. Two, three minutes, or until Dale's done uh, applying yeah. it. <laughs> I'm a little slower. And one thing that's always interesting about shell is notice the dye coming off on the rag. It's because shell, I heard that this depends on the hide, but some shell holds its dyes better than others. Like I have some uh, some Mark Albert boots in Shinky Shell Cordovan. It's like a yellow, it's it's a whiskey color. It's actually closer to a yellow and I wore them out in the rain once and they had water spots like crazy because the pigments shift around in the shell really easily depending on the exact hide that you have. Yeah. So, and this this seems to be doing the same thing. You got, got some, some uh, transfer, some color transfer onto the rag which isn't a big deal, you could always add more color later, but yep. it's just something, something you know, that comes with the, with the territory of shell. All right guys, we are done applying the cream polish, and we're just gonna let it dry for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna brush it with the cool. brush. So Dale, when was the last time, when was the first time you came to our store? Oh, back in 2014, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. With, with a pair of my Alden Indies, I noticed the heel was wearing down pretty quick and I wanted to uh, see like what you guys could do for me. Yeah, I've been coming ever since. You've been hooking me up with awesome services like the, the Triumph toe tips, which are some of my favorite to protect my leather soles, and uh, resoles and, and everything in between shines. Sonny can do it all. Sonny's the man. All right, Dale, I think we're ready to uh, brush up, right? All right. So the cool thing about Shell is that if you brush, keep brushing, it actually gets really good. Shiny, right? Right. And that's not because there's polish on there or uh, or like a cream or anything. It just yeah. naturally shines. Right. 
Yeah, shell is an incredible material for that reason. You can always get a really good shine on it. And what I like about it is when it's shiny, if you shine it right, it's almost got like a translucence. You can you can peer deep into the into the shell and almost see through it. All right, guys, I am done with brushing up, and this is what the cream polish. And we are done brushing this one up. Restore some of that original luster. All right, our next step, guys, will be. We'll be using a Saphir Emerald Gloss. So, Dale, do you know what this polish is? Um, that is a very well-reputed one. That's just a neutral, very high waxy, pretty hard wax gloss, right? Yeah. Do you know where we're going to use this today? Um, I assume on the, on the toe, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> the reason why we can't use this on the other part of the boot uh, only the front and the back. The other part, when Dale walks on these boots, it's gonna crack. Oh. Because they're in the flex zone right there and softer. I did not know that. Okay. So we're gonna be using this one just on the toe and on the back. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna wet. Alright, guys, this is water, just water. So we're gonna wet our cloth just a little bit, not too much. Okay. And we're going to apply the polish onto the rag. So what we're doing, we're actually just going to buff it and apply it. Just circle. Circles, okay. Yeah. Now, just on a toe, okay? All right. And you're going to have to be uh, doing this about, I guess, three or four coats. Okay. To achieve a mirror shine effect. Uh yeah, that's we're gonna just we're using this for the base because these are harder wax. It actually works better. Interesting. So well, if you have multi-color boots, I would recommend using a neutral color, which is for any color. And you don't have to use um all that color that's on there. You know, you can just yeah. use neutral for one and then you'll be done. Yeah, neutral is good because it doesn't add pigments. Yeah. Because you, if you start adding pigments to the leather, you'll alter it and it might not turn out the way you want. So the safest bet is always to go neutral, <laughs> for sure. On red, on, I mean, I use neutral on black too. So how much wax should I get? Actually, just a little bit. I, a I know touch. it's hard to like, uh, I know it's hard to like kind of measure how much wax you have to put on. Yeah. But actually, you don't want to have like leftovers. Okay, right. I think my problem is, is I'm always thinking about, I want to get, with conditioner, you're, you're slathering the boot in conditioner, but with wax, you're just doing like a surface coat, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, with wax, you're not trying to actually condition the leather <laughs> with the wax. You're just trying to yeah. apply like a very light superficial surface coat, so. And Dale, do you know why we use water in between? No. So when we use water, actually the water kind of um, acts as a protector, like a base. So like, okay. What like one coat of polish goes up, and then water goes next, and then polish goes up, and then water goes next. Okay. Gotcha. And it actually builds up that layer, and that's why we are using a water each time we are applying the polish. So I think we did about three coats now. Um, yeah. And I think uh, we're, we are are starting to see shine on the toe. Mm -hmm. So Dale, yes. when you do a polish, uh, it's best to actually do round, like circle. Okay, circle. So this, this is not gonna work. Okay. Yeah. I know it's a little bit like awkward at first, but yeah, um, that's actually, uh, it would help you a lot. Okay. Achieve that um, shine. I heard that you want to treat the shell, the leather, like it's an egg shell almost. Like that's the amount of pressure to apply is like as if you were applying wax to an egg shell. <laughs> if that makes sense. Does that sound about right? Like the amount yeah. Of I mean, when you're, uh, I think probably for all kind of leather, if yeah. you're shining, um, I don't want to 
put too much pressure on it. Um, okay. Just a little bit, but the thing is about mirror shine is that you have to have the right amount of water, the right okay. amount of polish, the right amount of uh, pressure when you're uh, waxing and buffing. When I was first uh, mirror shining in the store at work, I think it took me about five years to get it right. Wow. And one day I went to YouTube and saw this Japanese uh, shoe shiner polishing his boots or shoes. And he, I think he was a shoe oh. shine uh, champion oh, wow. in the world. <laughs> Dang. And I realized like, okay, why am I not getting this right? Like, what am I doing wrong? Right. So the next day I went to the store yeah. and I did what he did. And guess what? <laughs> it worked like a charm. <laughs> so guys, we are seeing the shine coming up right here. I think we could do about two more coats. Yeah, yours is way better than mine. <laughs> Mine's like, okay. <laughs> But his is like, <laughs> like you can see your reflection in his. <laughs> so the, I, I mean, I use these products like every single day at yeah. work, right? Because I'm a cobbler. Yes. But yes. Um, for you, I know you're not, you don't use like, you know, every single day, and you have other products that you use for your shoes and boots to take care of. Right. Um. What do you think about Tarago so far that you're working with it? I think it's doing a phenomenal job. You know, I, I typically, I trust uh, Venetian and I trust Saphir. Just to play it safe, those are more expensive products, so that's typically the stuff that I just spend extra just to make sure that I'm putting the right stuff on my on my shoes. But this is doing just as good of a job, I have to say. Like, this is really, you know, magical stuff. It's, I'm very impressed by the uh, by the amount of sheen we're getting on this on this wax right now, so. Yeah, I mean, this is no doubt like superior to some of the more generic brands, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that shall not be named. Oh man, look at these shots coming up right here. Whew. Wow. All right, guys, I'll show you this. So we are getting that shine on the toe. Wow. It's really something that you gotta work for too. It's not something that just happens. So I'm gonna do one more coat, and then we're gonna move on to the Tarago Premium Shoe Polish. This is a medium brown color. I was interested by the idea of adding a polish after the wax. I would have thought you put the polish on before the neutral wax, but apparently it's the polish goes on after the wax. I would have never thought that. Yeah, so do you know why we put this wax first and then we put the uh, the shoe polish uh, wax? No, no. So this, this wax that we're working on right now, this is actually a hard wax. Right, okay. And this one will be a soft wax. Yes, okay. So you want the hard stuff on the bottom and then okay. you want the soft stuff on the top. Okay. So when you buff the soft stuff on the top of the hard wax, yeah. it actually brings out more shine. Interesting. I would have never thought <laughs> I would have done it in reverse. <laughs> There's a lot of way to do mirror shines, but you know, um, I'm teaching you. Right. I'm showing you, you know, my techniques. Yeah. Which is very useful. I mean, and it, it does. It's not something that just happens. It's something you gotta, it's like a technique you gotta master. And I know I've, I've just gotten frustrated before and given up, but it seems like the more we go, the better it's getting. So before COVID, there was a uh, tournament or a competition that the SSIA was trying to uh, uh, bring in. Okay. It was uh, actually a sh mirror shine contest. Interesting. Um, I went home and I basically worked on it for about a week. Wow. And I did the shine, and I, you know, I took nice pictures. I sent it in, and and guess what? What's that? They canceled it because of the COVID. Oh god! <laughs> I was looking forward to that contest, That's you know. Awful, right, right. Now, I'm sure you would have done well too, because you always do good in the different contests. So after COVID, um, you know, we had a lockdown, right? Right. For about right. three months, our store. 
And I actually just did shoe shine at home. Um, it was kind of like therapy, you know? Right, right. But like staying home all day, like you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Just shining in the outside. Yeah, it actually, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. For sure, it is definitely therapeutic. Gonna apply the premium shoe polish. Now these are softer wax. Looks so much better than mine. Hey, like, you guys oh. want to compare? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the master. So here's the one I did. Here's the one he did. It's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. You know, it's okay. Mine's yeah. okay, but yours definitely, like, I could literally see my reflection in yours. Whereas mine, it's just hazy. Like. So, guys, we're going to apply the softer wax now. Okay. And this is going to be the same way we do it. Just a little bit. Okay. Not too much. Okay, we're gonna apply it. And this polish actually is also a uh, water base. Oh, it is, okay. It has beeswax, other natural waxes. Cool. And does this go all over, or does this just stay on the, on the front? Well, this one, you'll be uh, doing it in the front part first. Okay. And then you could actually just kind of move it toward the back. Okay. If you want. Depending on what type of shine you like. Do you like having, like, shiny, shiny toe? Or do you like having that, you know, yeah. evenly uh, equal shine? Um, yeah, I guess that's a preference thing, huh? Sometimes I see do guys, they do. They just do the shiny toe, the burnished look. I'm the type I'd like to probably go over the whole boot. Yeah, so far, I'm liking it. It uh, blends in pretty good. Yeah, for sure. Not too dark. Yeah, because we were considering the darker brown one. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this medium brown. I'm sure the light, you can't really see it, but... They, they look wow. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yours looks good. Mine, I feel like I'm, I'm going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so our main point of the video today was um, doing a mirror shine on the toes. Uh, actually, just showing you guys how to do mirror shines. We gave you a steps to use and the products to use on steps. If you have time on, you know, weekends or weekdays after work, you will have like a cup of coffee, wine, beer, tea. Actually, it's it's really um, it's really stress reliever. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's therapeutic. So that here's the shine. Like, I had a feeling that shell quarterman is actually a little bit harder to shine, mirror shine, than other type of leather. Really, that's interesting. But I could I could see that. Mine doesn't really seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> Mine just seems to be staying where it's at. <laughs> I put the pressure onto the leather. Okay. The tip. Gotcha. The tip. Just. You can right. actually see it on that cloth right there. That's the yes. part that I put the pressure on. Okay. Like I'm holding or like really really like like an egg. It seems like when I back off on the pressure, it starts to lighten up. See the shine to... right there. What do you think, Dale? Oh man, that looks phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want more shines, you can actually add more ba uh, polish to it. But you can just stop, you know, wherever you like them, you know? Yeah, Everyone definitely. has different uh, type of polish they like or the shines they like. Right. Sometimes, you know, there's a customer that actually doesn't like, you know, mirror shine at all. Yeah. Some customers just want mirror shines. Yeah, you know, it's really up to you. Yeah, that's true. Wow, yeah, look at that. So let's compare. There's Sunny's. I mean, you could see the lights in the background on his. Whereas on mine, it's like, it's all right. I mean, I guess you could still see the lights, but it's. Sonny's in mine. Sonny's definitely looks, his definitely wins. <laughs> I'm still in the mindset, I'm trying to condition <laughs> the boots. <laughs> and the mirror shine is not conditioning. It's like a very delicate process, very surface level. And uh, I'll get there one day. So Dale, um, the reason why I had Dale here today was um, I wanted to show you guys from 
Dale is consumer point. Yeah. Because I work with the shoe care products every single day, and I want to get you guys like his opinion on, you know, Trago brand. Yes. And because he used other brand too, but you know, it's, it's like your yeah. first time using Trago, right? Right. Like, it is. Mostly, yeah. Yeah. I've never used it before, so yeah, this is this has been good, a good learning experience for sure. So if you guys have more questions about Tarago products, you can actually email info at tarago.com. And I do have some products under right there that you guys can actually uh, buy. These are the products that we used here. And next week, I think we're gonna have something fun. Okay, sweet, yeah. sounds good, yeah. sounds good. I always look forward to new, new product. Hey, uh, thank you for joining us today, and I hope you guys have a good, uh, good day and good night and good weekend. Absolutely. Thanks for checking it out, guys. <laughs>